In the previous video, we discussed about uh, odd and even numbers. And now let's discuss about prime numbers. So what are prime numbers? Well, any number which is greater than 1, which is greater than 1, that number should be greater than 1, and which has only and only two factors, only and only two factors, or say it has only and only two divisors. So only and only two factors or only and only two divisors. And one divisor or factor would be the number one. And the next divisor of factor would be that number itself, would be that number, that particular number itself. If any number greater than one satisfies this two con this condition of having only two factors or having only two divisors where one divisor is the number one and the next divisor of factor is that number itself so then that number would be the prime number example take two is two a prime number of course 2 is a prime number how so you can write 2 as 1 multiplied by 2 that is 1 times 2 and this would be 2 right where 1 is one factor and 2 is another factor there are no other factors other than 1 and 2 for 2 right so 2 has 2 has only two factors first factor would be 1 and the next factor would be 2 there are no other factors for the number 2 therefore 2 is a prime number let's take another number that would be 3 is 3 a prime number yes of course 3 is also a prime number how so you can write 3 as 1 multiplied by 3 that is 3 okay Therefore, 1 is a factor of 3 or the 1 is a divisor of 3 we have seen in the previous video and if you haven't watched those videos then I request you to please go through those videos and you get to know that what are factors and what is a multiple. So 1 is a factor of 3 and 3 is a factor of 3 and there are no other factors apart from 1 and 3 for this number 3 okay so there is there are only and only two factors that is 1 and 3 and no other factor what about 4 is 4 a prime number no 4 is not a prime number how huh? because you can write 4 as 1 multiplied by 4 right this is one way of checking but you can also write 4 as 2 multiplied by 2, right? This would also be 4. So, you have three factors now. First factor is 1. Next factor is 4. And another factor is 2. So, you have three factors for 4. And remember, we know that 4 is an even number. And an even number is always divisible by 2 right so we got from from that point we, we could come here I mean we could calculate that 2 multiplied by 2 would be equal to 4 so there are three factors what about 5 is 5 a prime is a, is a, a prime number yes of course because 1 multiplied by 5 is equal to 5 1 is a factor 5 is a factor and there are no other factors apart from these two factors that is 1 and 5 are the only two factors for 5 so any such numbers which are greater than 1 this is an important condition and always remember you would say that hey I can write 1 as 1 multiplied by 1 and what is the problem it's also satisfying the condition that it that the first factor would be 1 and the next factor would be the number that itself 
But no, 1 is not a prime number. We always take 1 as a unit. We always take 1 as a, a unit. And the condition for a prime number is that that number, that particular number should always be greater than 1. Right? This is the first condition. Therefore, 1 is not a prime number. 1 is not a prime number. And the next condition is this one that we discussed here that it has only two factors or divisors and the first one would be the number one and the next one would be the that number itself okay so this is a, all about prime numbers what could would be the next prime number after five next prime number after five would be seven okay and this would again be 1 multiplied by 7 would give 7 and there are only two factors that is 1 and 7 and no other factors possible apart from these two factors for 7. So the recognition of prime numbers goes long 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 back in antiquity that is in ancient history in ancient history long long back in ancient history it was recognized and it was being studied by the Greek mathematician the Greek mathematician the Greek mathematician mathematician Euclid and he is also known as the father of geometry, right? He is the father of geometry. And Euclid recognized prime numbers and he gave, his, in his theorem, he proved that, that there are infinite number of prime numbers. That is, you cannot say that, that, is, that this is the limit of prime numbers, that beyond that you would not get prime numbers. He proved by his theorems that there are infinite number infinite number of prime numbers okay and many mathematicians many mathematicians try to give certain some formulas that they try to give some formulas to to tell that okay using this formula or using that particular formula you could derive any prime number but they all were wrong they all have been flawed so there is no certain formula or there is no certain method to calculate any number of prime numbers okay so the formulas that were given by the mathematicians could not stand you know i mean could not pass the test and they all have been flawed and the next thing is with the with computers that we use in our technology with computers we have derived prime numbers having millions of you know digits um, uh, in them and so the, the point is that it, the study of these prime numbers goes long long back into the history Euclid uh, studied them recognized them and proved that and he proved uh, through his theorems that there are infinite number of prime numbers many mathematicians tried to give uh, try to prove that we can calculate any prime number using some formula but they all have been flawed and using computer we have you know generated or we have found that l numbers which are numbers that are prime number and have millions of digits in them. 